Hello and welcome to www.rei-tv.com. I am Nick and you are watching the Flipping Right Show. I am in my car. No kidding, huh? And this is one of the Day in the Life series. We have a home auction today that I'm headed out to, and I'm going to kind of step you through it as we go. It's a property that we started advertising a week ago. We have an option to buy this property. It's worth about $320. We're paying about $250, and we're hoping to sell it for about $280, $290. Of course, you never know. We might have to short sale it. It is in foreclosure, so if the best offer we get isn't good enough, we can try the short sale route. There's a second on there. We can get a raise that we'll probably do in any case. So um, when we get a little bit closer, I'll show you what we're doing. I'll show you some of the signs. I'll show you the house. I'll talk a little bit more about what's happening, and we're going to sell a house today. What we're doing with this house today that we're auctioning is, like I said, I have it under an option. We've done a lot of marketing. When you want to sell a house fast like this in five or six days, you got to do some serious marketing. We have between 100 and 200 bandit signs that are up. The previous Sunday, we put ads in six or seven newspapers talking about the auction. We then hang hung about, oh, close to, I don't know, over 50, between 50 and 100 bandit signs went up last Sunday telling about the auction this weekend. Then Friday night, we hung another batch of bandit signs. We also have the ads running in today's paper. Now, the auction started yesterday. Yesterday. It's a two-day auction. We're having an open house from 2 o'clock to 5 o'clock on both Saturday and Sunday. So you start marketing it the week before. We have a website up, www.lburnauction. That's E-L-B-U-R-N-A-U-C-T-I-O-N, www.lburnauction.com. You can check that out, which gives a lot of information about the auction. We have a video there telling about the house. We have pictures of the house. We have all the bidding rules. So our signs and ads and all those newspapers drive them to the website and also give the real phone number of one of my guys for them to call. We've had 40 or 50 calls. We had a lot of people look at the house yesterday. We had three bids. Now, traditionally, you're going to get more bids on Sunday than you do Saturday. A lot of people look at it Saturday, come back Sunday to bid. Tonight, we're going to do a round-robin auction where we start calling folks. I'll talk about that a little bit later after the, after the auction on the way home. But the key here is marketing, marketing, marketing. We're going to have uh, four or five people with great big signs standing on the major intersections driving people right to the house. I also sent emails to 40 or 50 realtors. So we've really put our done our homework, put our time in to get this sucker sold today and to make some serious jack. So we'll let you know what's going on. I'll talk to you again when I get out by the house and we get the signs in place. Have a good one. This is Nick signing off on your point of view probably for about a half a second. And snap, we're back. As you see, we've got signs up on the street, great big signs. We've got our lovely helpers holding our signs out for us, getting attention to the house, and catches everyone that's out house shopping on this nice day and sends them down. We're really hoping to use those signs on those corners to, like I said, get attention and send them down. Lots of people driving through the neighborhoods looking for houses. We have six of those signs on different corners directing people to the house. So we're not only have we advertised in all the newspapers and sent out letters and all that, we're also directing people towards the house. We had a little problem with code enforcement. They told us that we couldn't have signs in the ground. It's a law. But he said we could put them on cars because cars are private property. So you do what you got to do. So here's the house itself. Got people in there right now. Here's our sign that you can see from about a mile down the street, which is good. And so far, so good. We've got, I believe we're up to nine bids and we still have half the day here. If the weather cooperates, it looks a little windy, but we're excited and the people looking at it are excited. And we feel this is gonna end up a winner. Here I am. I'm inside the house now, taking a look around. We got a break in the action. This is Scott. He's one of our project managers. Take a bow there, Scott. How's everyone doing? Scott is also a mortgage broker, so we offer that too. So when people come through the house, if they don't have lending in place, we can handle that. So we got that set up here. And then I think I mentioned before, we've got a little bidding sheet over here. So as people come in, they can bid 
Here's our bidding sheet. We just had a bid come in over the phone, somebody who was here yesterday and um, didn't place a bid. They, can't, they can only bid over the phone if they come in the house and visit once. And it's getting close to the end now. We've got about an hour and a half left. And we always find that the last few minutes we get a rush of people. We just had another phone call calling to find out what the top bid is. Okay, here we are again. I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update and talk about exactly how the bidding works. It's a round robin auction. People come through the house. Now we do collect their names at the door because later you can sell those leads to realtors for five or 10 or 20 bucks each, depending on your area, and make some money that way. Also, um, some guys that do these, and I don't do it because we have Scott here, uh, but in some cases, mortgage brokers will pay Two, three, four thousand dollars to come and sit at an open house like this and take mortgage applications, depending on the, how many people you expect and that type of thing. So the way the, the, the auction works, we do have some rules. Only those who have inspected the home will be allowed to bid. They do have to come out. We just took a phone bid, but they saw the house yesterday, so that works. Um, you know, we don't want some chowderhead just calling around making offers on houses they've never seen because it really isn't fair to the folks that come out. To enter the round robin bidding, you have to leave a bid prior to five o'clock Sunday. Your initial bid could be any amount, one penny is sufficient. So different strategies. Some people might want to put in a high bid first to try to scare other people out of bidding at all. Other people might put in, like we have a $40,000 bid there. And um, obviously the house would sell for 40,000 is the lowest bid, but who knows? The guy might be prepared to spend 275, 300, we never know. So to get into the, to get into the thing at all, you do have to put your name on the bidding list, just not the name of the list at the door. Initial bids can be changed any time up till 7 o'clock Sunday night. Um, the high bidder at 7 Sunday night will get the first call in the round robin. Oh, someone's here. I'll be back. Well, here we are. I'm on the way home now. Uh, we think it was a good day. We ended up with 10 or 11 bids. Now, I'm going to explain a little bit how the round robin auction works tonight. I'm going to get back. At about 7, between 7 and 7.30, I'm going to start calling. I'm going to call the high bidder first. And I'm going to say, congratulations, you're the high bidder. You have the high bid of, I think it's 248. You have the high bid of 248. Now, would you like to raise your bid before we call the rest of the participants? And the high bidder is going to say either yes, I want to raise it, or no, I'll leave it where it is. And they usually leave it where it is, but we always give them that option. Then I'll call the next person on the list, say the high bid is this. Would you, you know, what do you, would you, what do you want your bid to be? And basically, what's going to happen is they're going to either bid or drop out. And if they bid, it raises the pot. If they drop out, they drop out. And then um, I'll go through the whole list. Then I'll call the first person back again, and I'll say, I know you you were the first person before. Your bid was 248, but the bid now is 262 or whatever it might be. I have no idea where it'll be, of course. And uh, what would you like to bid? So then whoever's the highest bidder will go into a contract tomorrow. We, we put in the bidding rules. They have to put $1,000 down and go into contract the next day. So it was very promising. We Today was more quality than quantity. Sometimes when you do an auction, you have a whole lot of people, but it's kind of tough to get them to bid. Today, we didn't have a lot of people, but I would say 75% of the folks that came through put a bid in. So we're excited. I'm going to go home, have a little dinner, then get into the office, grab that phone, make some calls. And like I said on another call, it's so easy, it's so funny, all we do is take their money. See you in a bit. Well, the auction's over. We're happy campers. We called all the bidders last night at the auction. We ended up with our high bid being around 260000 which really wasn't as high as we wanted. We wanted more. We thought we'd get more, but it's just a sign of the times and the way the market is. In any case, we did buy right. The guy only owes two fifty, <clears throat> but... The good news is he's in foreclosure. He has a second mortgage for around 25000 that we know we can get down to a few thousand, maybe five. Five's too much because they're going to lose everything. They've already been served all the papers. They know they're losing everything. So we'll get that knocked off, and we're going to short sale the first. We had the seller call, I mean the, the owner, the seller, call the mortgage company this morning on the big first. His first is around 230 and he discussed the, uh, he's been discussing a deed in lieu of foreclosure where he just gives the house back to him instead of going through the whole foreclosure process. And they said to him this morning, well, we'd be willing to give you a pretty good deal if you could find somebody to buy this house. We'll sell at a discount. We don't want the house back. So we're going to oblige the bank. We have uh, four people that ended up with their bids between 235 and 260 So 
we're going to get this thing down. We're going to knock off the second pretty much all together, getting us down to about 230. And then we're going to get that the 230 that he owes, 20 of it is penalties and interest and back payments. So really it's about 210. So we can probably get that down to about 180 or so, even a little more. Who cares? But in any case, we're going to end up owing, paying about 190. We're hoping 180 to 200 for the house, somewhere in there. We're going to get our 260 for the house. Yesterday was a good day. For some people, yesterday would have been a good year. If you're still sitting on the fence, you better fall off in the direction of learning this business because you just you can't make this kind of money anywhere else. It's a great business. It's a fun business. We didn't work real hard to get that deal done. And like I said, we're going to make fifty to 70000 bucks when the dust settles. Thanks for watching. I'm Nick. This is www.rei-tv.com. It's the Flippin' Right Show. We're flipping right. Shouldn't you be flipping right, too? Thanks for watching.